The hepatitis C virus, HCV, is one of the leading causes of chronic liver disease and is a leading indication for liver transplant. The current standard of care for the treatment of genotype 1 chronic HCV infection is a triple drug regimen of pegylated interferon plus ribavirin plus a protease inhibitor. Although effective in 68 to 75 percent of treatment naive patients, the tolerability and dosing schedules of currently available treatment regimens may restrict use in some patients. The development of safer and or more effective investigational compounds is ongoing. Our increasing understanding of the HCV life cycle has revealed a number of potential targets for pharmacologic intervention. The hepatitis C virus, a positive single-strand RNA virus, enters the body via the bloodstream and targets the hepatocytes. The virus binds to the hepatocyte via a specific interaction between the viral structural proteins and liver cell-specific receptors on the hepatocyte cell surface. The virus then enters the hepatocyte via receptor-mediated endocytosis. Once inside the hepatocyte, the viral membrane fuses with the endosomal membrane, releasing the viral RNA into the cell cytoplasm. The viral RNA then travels through the cytoplasm to the endoplasmic reticulum, where it is translated by host ribosomes, resulting in the formation of the hepatitis C polyprotein within the endoplasmic reticulum membrane. The resulting HCV polyprotein consists of 10 structural and non-structural proteins that play essential roles in the virus life cycle and represent potential targets for pharmacologic intervention. The NS3 and NS5B protein have thus been key targets for antiviral drug development. NS3 consists of a C-terminal helicase domain and an N-terminal serine protease domain which, together with NS4A, is responsible for the cleavage of all downstream non-structural proteins, an essential step in the HCV replication process. The non-structural proteins, together with host proteins, form the replication complex that facilitates the production of new viral RNA. The newly formed RNA is then packaged and assembled into new viral particles, which are then released from the cell to go on to infect other hepatocytes. Agents being developed for use in the treatment of chronic hepatitis C include compounds that inhibit NS3 protease. Valdaprevir is an investigational NS3 protease inhibitor that has a linear tripeptide structure with a C-terminal carboxylic acid group which forms a non-covalent complex with the active site of NS3 protease. This in turn prevents the cleavage of the HCV polyprotein and thus the release of the non-structural proteins necessary for the production of viral RNA, resulting in a reduction in viral replication. Phase 2 studies with Feldaprevir as a part of combination therapy with pegylated interferon and ribavirin have been completed. Phase 3 studies are nearing completion. The second non-structural protein that has received much attention as a potential target for pharmacologic intervention is the NS5B polymerase. The NS5B polymerase is the catalytic center of the HCV replication complex where it is directly responsible for RNA synthesis. Like other viral polymerases, NS5B has the right-hand structure with palm, finger, and thumb domains. There are at least four allosteric binding sites on the polymerase, namely thumb pockets 1 and 2 and palm sites 1 and 2. The investigational agent BI207127 is a non-nucleoside thumb pocket 1 inhibitor. By binding to the thumb pocket 1 site of NS5B polymerase, BI207127 blocks the conformational changes to the enzyme that are necessary for RNA synthesis. With their complementary mechanisms of action, BI207127, in combination with Faldaprevir and ribavirin, is being studied as part of an interferon-free regimen. Phase 3 studies investigating the safety and efficacy of this regimen are currently initiating with the goal of delivering an interferon-free treatment to patients with chronic hepatitis C.